and welcome, welcome. This is Dawn Reby. Welcome to Mastering Productivity for Lasting Success, a step-by-step -step guide to unlocking your full potential. I'm excited to embark on this transformative journey with you where we dive into the, the realms of mindset cultivation, strategic planning mastery, and sustainable productivity enhancement. So, in this training, you will discover actionable insight, proven techniques, and practical exercises that's going to stretch you quite a bit. And it's going to empower you not only to excel in your personal and professional pursuits, but also create a profound impact that resonates for years to come. So get ready to unleash your inner leader, optimize your approach to time management, and pave the way for enduring success. Let's go ahead and begin this empowering odyssey together. So the first topic here in this um, category, the mindset mastery. So there's four categories, as you know, we're in category one, mindset mastery. The first topic here is how to measure success, right? So today we're gonna explore the true essence of productivity and how to measure a successful day. Uh, so let's begin by acknowledging that, this is gonna be a tough one, Productivity is not solely about producing more or achieving quantifiable metrics. Yep, I said it. There it is. I'll say it again. It's not about only about producing more or achieving quantifiable metrics. Now I'm going to show you how to achieve quantifiable metrics, but I want to point out that that's not the only measurement. Instead, it lies in the intangible, hard to measure aspects of our actions. So today we're going to explore a critical concept that affects many of us in our modern fast-paced world. In our dopamine-driven, short-term society, we often find ourselves seeking quick results and instant gratification. We become fixated on external metrics such as likes or shares or book solds or, or, or promotions that measure our success solely by how fast we can achieve those long-term goals, right? We're like, oh, this person's successful. They're a millionaire. They're a billionaire. They're a whatever an heir, right? And so while it's natural to strive for success and accomplishment, this focus on external matrix can lead some astray. It can create a sense of urgency by pushing us to neglect the more profound aspects of our lives, meaningful connections, and our own self-worth. So in this dopamine-driven short-term society, we often feel unsatisfied if we're not meeting these long-term goals super fast, right? So we're like, we started our business or we started this project and I need to go faster. And unfortunately, this focus on external metrics can lead us to, to really neglect the things that are important and meaningful in our lives. So the, the idea around this course here on being productive is you'll see is shifting the mindset to really focus in on the intangible and then be able to document what is tangible. So imagine this scenario. After my speaking engagement, an audience member approached me brimming with enthusiasm. She shared that she had just purchased a copy of my book, Bigger Than Data, and that's actually my first book. Um, and it, it deeply resonated with her. The concepts she applied from the book had brought profound sense of balance and joy to her life. As we spoke, she revealed something incredible. She had not kept the wisdom to herself. She shared that same book with her coworkers, hoping it would spark positive change in their lives too. And to everyone's delight, her gesture had set off a powerful chain reaction within her workplace. Her colleagues had eagerly read the book, and many of them had made significant changes in their lives as a result of that. It was a beautiful ripple effect, and I felt immensely grateful for the impact that my book had on their lives, right? It was finally worth it <laughs> to do all that work. So at the same time, another part of my journey puzzled me. At a recent conference, I donated 25 copies of my books to attendees, hoping to spread inspiration and positive change on a larger scale. However, as time passed, I realized that only a few conference goers had actually read the book and even fewer had implemented its valuable content. It was disheartening to see that the number of books distributed didn't accurately reflect the actual impact on their lives. So this experience has led me to a profound realization, 
right? Sometimes tangible metrics such as book sales or distribution numbers, that they may not fully capture the true impact of our work. The real value lies in the connections formed, the positive transformations inspired, and the joy and balance cultivated by those who embraced the message of my book. So as I continue on my journey as an author, as a speaker, I've learned to focus on the quality of connections and the positive changes in individual lives, rather than only being fixated on sales figures alone. And this is hard, right? So when you're first in business, you're like, okay, how many sales did I make? Is it working? Is it working, right? So it's a hard concept to to not rely on on those fail, um, sales figures alone for your KPIs, for your key performance indicators. So each person who finds solace and inspiration in my words is a testament to the profound impact that my work can have. So I have other measurables, right? I've come to cherish the heartfelt accounts from leaders and readers like the enthusiastic woman that I met after that speaking engagement. Her story reminded me that every single life touch, no matter how seemingly small, is a testament to the power of sharing knowledge and wisdom. I'm humbled, I'm grateful for the opportunity to create that ripple effect in people's lives, even if it starts with just one book and just one person. The true value of my efforts lies in the meaningful connections formed the personal growth inspired and the joy and balance found by those who embrace my message. So I'll continue writing and speaking from the heart, cherishing each and every opportunity to touch lives and inspire positive change, hopefully in yours through this training here, even if the matrix may not always fully reflect the profound impact, I know that my work has the potential to create lasting legacy of inspiration and transformation. And that to me is immeasurable and truly fulfilling. And it's interesting because in the past several years, I've done more case studies on successes of of our clients and the depth that they have succeeded, the stories that they share absolutely blow me away. I just love the stories, the lives that have changed. And so even though that may not be quantifiable in terms of numbers, right? Like that's one or 21 or 41 people maybe 141, maybe 2000, like who knows, right? But it's that that case study, that conversation, that connection, that change that has happened years later that somebody says, oh my gosh, you know, y- your conversation with me that day led me into success. Like that means something. So the point here is sometimes our efforts might not have tangible metrics, but that doesn't mean they lack value. So let's look at an example in your life, right? So let's see, in your life, can you relate to this? Um, maybe maybe this concept you said to yourself, I'm committed to exercising and eating nourishing food. When you first started working out and adopting a healthier lifestyle, maybe you didn't see any immediate change in your body or your fitness level. However, over time, you began to notice subtle improvements in your energy level, maybe your mood or Maybe it's just an overall well-being, a feeling of well-being. That, that's what happened to me with yoga, right? During COVID, I got really into yoga and I, I just felt better. I mean, I, it's not even like I could measure exactly how I felt. I just felt better, right? Okay. So the impact was more profound than any physical transformation that you could have measured, right? You felt good. Your energy levels are high. Similarly, in productivity journey, there are aspects of personal growth and fulfillment that may not be easily quantifiable but are crucial to your development as a leader and individual. So building meaningful connections with your team, fostering a positive work environment, and taking time for self-care may not have tangible metrics, but they contribute significantly to your growth and satisfaction as a person. Just like exercise and good food, these intangible aspects of productivity have a profound impact on your overall success and well-being, reminding you that true fulfillment often lies in the unseen yet deeply felt aspects of life. All right. So throughout this training, we're going to show you how to do both, how to get those KPIs, those key performance indicators listed out, and also how to, you know, look into these deeply felt aspects of life, the things that are important to you. Okay. And how to measure those or not measure those, right? So what defines a good day? Let's talk about it. What defines a good day? What truly defines a good day? It's about feeling productive and fulfilled, right? Like, you know, those days where you just 
feel like, wow, I, I just really made a dent in this. I really moved forward in this project or this, this relationship, right? You feel fulfilled. It's not just chasing some quantifiable outcome. Okay. You know, like maybe, maybe my goal is let's say to, to public speak at 20 different conferences this year. And so, um, so then, you know, the numbers there, I've done 20, woohoo. Right. But, but what about when, who did I meet when I was there? What relationships did I build? How did I feel? How did the people feel receiving the message? Did it move anybody? Right. So yeah, 20 conferences, that was the goal, but I also want impact at those 20 conferences. And so what does that look like and feel like? What does success look like? In fact, that's a question I often ask many people that I work with in, and maybe on a contract or a project or even a client. I will say, what does success look like for you? Right? What does it look like and feel like? So consider this. How often have you felt unsatisfied or discouraged when you didn't meet a long-term goal as quickly as you'd hope? Have you ever found yourself valuing external validation more than genuine connections from the people around you? I mean, I did. I've, I've felt that way at, at points where I'm just like, oh, only you know eight people enrolled for this course and I really wanted 30, right? So the external validation of eight people wasn't, wasn't enough. <laughs> wasn't enough for me. I wanted more. And so that's, that's a tricky place to be, right? Um, thankfully, I've moved out of that and I will show you how as well. So throughout this training, we're going to explore ways to focus on the quality of our actions, nurturing deep connections, and finding value in the process itself. So let's go ahead and embark on this journey together and redefine our understanding of productivity.